laser cutters, you have basically the design files right there, right? It's a DXF or SVG or something of that nature, which is already in itself editable. So if there's something that has what you want, that's kind of close, make it happen. Um, <clears throat> my big suggestion, I'm gonna work with this stuff again. You know, I had this spool for years and didn't use it at all. It was one of those things I bought and I told myself, oh, it'll be useful eventually. And then like, eh, it probably won't be. I probably won't need it. And now, hold on. Oh, I have a question boss man. I want to design a laser file for a box and don't know where to start. Um, hold please. There, there, so I will say there is not it here. Um, this one, I think, was the one, the other one. This one's Python based, but. Yeah, that one allows you to actually do really complicated shapes. Um, not much I can do about that, though. Turn it like this. Maybe that'll help. some filters on this guy and make it look a little bit better. would be because like there's kind of the two ways that you can go about doing laser cut files right there is the version where you go into something like inkscape or whatever and you draw it as a flat pattern and then in your head you try and put all your pieces together and make sure they work or what you could do is go into a 3d modeling software some kind of cad package Next likely uh, candidate is that the chip itself is holding it under reset because of some error state. Um. Fine. That's nice. That's always what you want. Ugh. That's irritating. Okay. Let's put this back in the frame then and like 40 gauge if I remember correctly it's silly silly thin and using it without magnification is possible but it's difficult Marginally better, I think. It does look like it's a bit out of focus, though. <laughs> after after our rant last week. Tiny, tiny wire, right? I think this is something.
not bother. I just broke my programming line. end up with really weird wonky looking edges but um yeah maker case is uh one of a couple of different options <clears throat> but um there's a couple of really fun tools for that um and there was another one let me see if i can So we need to take one of these very, very tiny wires. And, uh, 3D model the thing with your material thickness because especially if you're going to do boxes you tend to use finger joints or bolt joints or anything like that where your material thickness makes a big difference if you got a quarter inch thick material and your fingers only overlap by an eighth of an inch then obviously you're going to all right fine or it's still nice and secure so Let's unplug our programming header because now, like, <laughs> absolutely easy. And so long as I don't have to do it through QMK, I think I'll actually do okay. <clears throat> nothing wrong with that laser is awesome in that way because it, it's harder to do that with CAD files because for like 3d printing rather because usually you get STLs which are kind of like a picture of the outside of the model and you have no other information and it's an approximation a triangular net wrapped around that object but with it needs to be as complex as check for that short before I go at everything. Um, I don't know, maybe you missed my question or you're an idiot. Uh, did I miss a question from you? It's like the most fundamental thing I have for this project. Which is a little silly, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Sorry for blocking your view. I assume a Dexcom G7 is probably like a constant glucose monitor, would be my guess, given our constant uh, fusion reactor is the next step. Yeah, glucose monitor, I thought so. <clears throat> fusion reactor is the next step. Yeah, I mean, obvious. Like electronics boxes or hinges or keypads, etc., etc., etc. Uh, that one's probably the better one for you if you're trying to do something weird. Um, you can sculpt, though, and make flat packaging meshes. Well, the nice thing is, is a the 3D modeling only... ...out of the frame. Holding it here.
connected to that pin right there. Which you can't really see much, but I swear it's there. be a chip fault, but I try not to blame the components because they tend to be more reliable than me. So, 